welcome to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a no idea. <laughs> I, love I didn't that. know you were a uh, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? You must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Well, 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 well. Welcome to it. It is the big broadcast. We are close to coast. We just closed Skype. What the hell? Get a hold of us. I'm going to need that. Get a hold of us on JiggyJaguar.com. Best spot to do all your holiday shopping is at JiggyJaguar.com. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite the deal. Lots of stuff happening in all the good things. Get a hold of us at KJagRadio.com, the award-winning KJagRadio.com. I am the award-winning Jimmy Freud. You know, I've won two awards. I, I, I have just thought about this. I won the Community Access Television of Salina, Inc. Uh, Rookie of the Year. And... We are now the Midwest, what the hell is this? The Midwest USA Prestige Award for Radio Station of the Year. We have won Radio Station of the Year. And it's all because of me. Jigman Freud. So, we are going to go to our guest. They are going to call us on the Skip Skype. The old skype rooney the gold cobra, as I like to refer to it. I don't know why I refer to it as the gold cobra. What? What? The gold cobra? Why would we call it the gold cobra? I don't know. I don't know, but we have got our guests. They're going to be coming to us here in just a few moments. And, uh... I'm trying to figure out just where in the world, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Is what I've got to say. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Speaking of where in the world is Carmen San Diego, I think we've got our guest with us. They are going to join us here in just a few seconds. And uh, Ross, can you hear us, my friend? I can. Look at um, that. Look at that. Rolling. Give me just a few seconds here. I got to get the video set up. And uh, right. then we will be off and running. How are you, my friend? I'm hanging in there. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm hanging in there. So, right, uh, right. so Ross, you have got uh, some great music out there. You have a uh, a new album. Tell us a little bit about this fantastic album that you've got out there. Yeah, I've got a, uh, you'll be six new songs. So we're releasing Cannonball along with it again. So, uh, but, so it'll be seven all together, but it's going to be an EP called The Shoulders of Giants. The uh, Shoulders of the Giants. I've written, uh, written here somewhat, you know, a handful of them are kind of older songs I wrote a while back, but um, most of them were written here in the last, you know, last year. So I've, uh, yeah, it's, it's a song paced testament to folks that raised me and where I learned, you know, and who I try to channel when the days get tough, and, you know. So. That's awesome. So why did you call it on the shoulders of giants? So my neighbor and I were in, uh, we're here in town. He was visiting Nashville not too long ago. And, um, we were just talking, you know, he was, uh, my neighbor, his, his uh, father is one of the folks who I actually wrote Shoulders of Giants for, Ron Lehman. That's and awesome. Him and, my grand, him and my grandfather and my dad, uh, my grandfather Melvin Flora and my dad Millard Flora, they, uh, they were all, you know, they, so we were all kind of in that same area. And, um, yeah, they just taught me, how to, taught me how to 
they raised me right, you know. And, and uh, we, I was talking to my buddy Travis about it. And he was just like, man, you know, you stand on the shoulders of giants. Like we both do. That's awesome. Just, you know, yeah, I was like, man, that is a song right there. And then sure enough, you know, so we just went ahead. And I was like, what a perfect name for my first multi-track release, you know. So to pay, pay homage to those, those folks. That is pretty badass. That is pretty badass. We have got a uh, great cast with us today. Of course, Ross Flora is with us, the Nashville-based musician. He is releasing his debut EP, Shoulders of Giants. He is a songwriter, a producer, a performer. Tell me a little bit about bringing this collection of music to life, my friend. Um, that was a challenge because, again, this is my first multi-track release here. So um, I kind of, uh, you know, I, I, was, I did have a slight moment of, you know, I was like, wait, these songs, like, how do I get them to gel and how do I make them sound like they're all part of the same project? And, and you know, I did, um, and then, yeah, they just all kind of came together. I rewrote some lines here, redid some parts there, you know, and I worked with uh, my good buddy Jeremy Pearl. And we on drums and everything, and we just, you know, came together really well. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, so I'm interested to hear what y'all think about it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, when you were putting this together, what was some of the, uh, I guess, trials and tribulations of you bringing this thing to life? Um. Again, just trying to make everything gel because again they were recorded over over the last year in different places. I mean they were all recorded in house, but some yeah. of it was recorded literally at my apartment. Some of it was recorded at my buddy Jeremy's house. Some of it, you know, was recorded elsewhere. You know, so it was it was kind of once I got through the writing process and through the engineering process even and got to the production the producer process of it all. Yeah. I was like, wait a second, like this has to sound like it gels. And I, you know, I did a couple things. Like I learned how to play pedal steel guitar for this That's album. awesome. You know, I, I've always wanted to be able to do that. And pedal steel and dobro are like the prettiest instruments, I think. In my book, I've, I've known a little dobro over the years, but never gotten into the pedal steel world. And I, I got a, uh, I found a deal on one. I was like, shoot, you know, I was, I was farming them out and having other guys play some pedal steel on some uh, on some of the songs I was working on, and every time it was just you know it was like you know a couple hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there. I was like, if I can learn how to play this thing, I can save myself some money in the long run here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I am doing by far the baby parts, but there's some you know I'm not by any means a true pedal steel player yet, but you know that's a long road. But I'm that's. There. You know, when when it <laughs> when in doubt, if it's gonna save you some cash. <laughs> when in doubt, when you can do it yourself. You know, that's, that's right. You know, that's I'm right. Like, Man, embrace that learning curve, and you know. And that's pretty. That's see pretty badass. Yourself, you know? That's pretty badass. We have got a uh, great guest with us today. Ross Flora joins us here in our broadcast. He's got this debut EP. Shoulders of Giants, which is uh, a fantastic piece of business, and uh, he is putting this out there. Um, so tell me about the cover art for the uh, for the whole thing. So the uh, Shoulders of Giants, I, was, I guess I was wearing this same hat right here. Yes. Yeah, so um, it actually happened. I uh, had some a uh, company send me some clothes that they you know wanted to collaborate on and stuff, and they were like, you know, do a to do a little photo shoot and lo and behold there you know there was a picture there that again you know we did the photo shoot in-house so it was our own pictures our own everything and I was like wait a second that looks I like that picture a lot and it's kind of you know it's got the you know just like this and the shoulders and all that and I was like that actually might work pretty well for this so, so that was the picture we used and yeah it's, a, it's pretty badass that is yeah, pretty yeah, badass so, uh, how far do you think this thing's gonna gonna be able to go for you? As far as uh, uh, well, uh, isn't that the question right there? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I mean, I've got the highest hopes for it, but at the end of the time, at the end of the day, it's um, again, I'm a Christian. It's out of my hands, you know, and it's, yep. it's in, you know, it's in 
it's in the listener's hands and God's hands now. So that means, you know, so I've, I try not to think about that too much. <laughs> like, oh, no. Man, that's a, that's a dark hole to go into. After yes. You keep going. I'm in there. It's like, oh, wait. Like, I really try. I haven't listened to it much since I, since I sent them off a month ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've listened to them once or twice, you know, just done a couple of things, but I know if I go down that road, you know, if you start second guessing anything about it, then you, you know, that doesn't help anybody out, basically. So, no. <laughs> but, but regardless, I mean, this is just the beginning of this journey. So for me, I mean, as a as a recording artist, and um, I see myself, you know, again being able to do this in house, um, do it, you know, with a select group of friends and you know that i'll be able to uh continue to do this throughout the years you know so that's i'm, I'm already looking forward to the next uh release that we've got and we don't even have a plan for that but i've already got a bunch of songs wrote and i'm almost oh, ready really? to go for the next one yeah so I've, I've been just loving this cycle of you know writing and recording and you know and producing and so how do you um figure out what songs to stick on which album and once you've gotten you know kind of just take me through that whole process there well this one was kind of easy because i only had a couple good ones so this i didn't have to you know go through an a and b too much on this one but uh but they generally the reason i didn't pick some songs i had written and I'm going to save them for the next release or the release after, you know, however, however it goes. But I've got some songs I want to get out there that didn't make it onto this uh, EP. And, um, you know, they just weren't good fits, uh, either sty mostly stylistically. So I do have a pretty strong R&B background that we were kind of, you know, I was like, I, don't, I need to stay kind of in the lane here with this and, <laughs> and re really reinforce that Southern rock thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, so I've got some songs that are a little bit more R and B ish, you know, and aren't quite as rocking, but that I'll not like to be able to get out there at some point. They're well, still southern rock is all, but you know, they're just a little bit more. That is that is rock. one that is one thing that I have noticed is the southern rock thing is a huge deal. Uh why is that? Um, I mean, why I love it because I don't believe anybody, anybody ever sounded, I was a huge Led Zeppelin fan, loved the British Invasion bands, you know, and all that, the birds and all that, it was yeah. great Beatles. But man, when Southern Rock came along, when the Allman Brothers started kicking it, when, you know, when, when obviously when Skinner hit, and then, you know, 38 Special with the other bands and Brother, and it was like, you know, I mean, there was just so much that deep southern heritage and coming from the south i'm from virginia so not the deep south but yeah but coming from that it really resonated i was like wait these songs i can yeah this kind of describes my life to a little, a little bit here so I've, I've always just kind of had that blind spot for it but uh but the southern rock thing i feel like nowadays it blends as a lot of aspects of country music and with the way that Nashville mainstream country is kind of heading, you know, with some of the artists. It has uh, opened up a big door for folks, you know, that don't want to be alt country, but, you know, want to have a little, you know, want to have that rock vibe to them, but still sing songs that uh, tell a story, you know. So I feel like that's, uh, that's why I picked the Southern rock genre. So. That's awesome. Well, before we let you go, my friend, uh, how do we get the album and everything? So the pre-save link is out right now. The uh, EP will be out July 15th, which is as of the time of this recording uh, in three days here. So, um, but like I say, pre-save link is out for Apple, Spotify, all the major streaming platforms, just about anywhere you can get your, wherever you get your streaming music from. You can find uh, the Ross Floor pre-save link. Also my Instagram, you can go there if you can't seem to find it. Go to Ross Flora Music at Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, and you can find it there. I've been plastering it, you know, everywhere on that thing. So, <laughs> so you'll, be to, uh, you'll be able to save it there, and then, you know, come Friday, it'll be out. And That's awesome. To to, so. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you making.